guys. Hi. I'm Dr. Emily, and I just wanted to give a little demonstration uh, along with some experimental videos I've been doing. <laughs> Um, first of all, I want to say that this is the mask I wear on a daily basis. Um, I've worn it for over 13 hours. Um, it doesn't impede my breathing. It does get hot when I have to go outside and talk to clients in the car, but other than that, it's fine. I'm fine. I still go running. I don't go running with a mask, but silly. Um, but it doesn't affect my oxygen intake. Um, so now I'm going to, I'm going to use Tony as a sneezing sacrificial lamb. What? Oh, all right. Um, Let's do this. Yeah. So, I have my water bottle. This is what happens when you sneeze and you're not wearing a mask. Tell me, you're going to be honest, right? Yes. You're going to tell me if you feel stuff? Sure. Okay. Uh, Choo! <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I felt it. Okay, this is experiment number one. No mask. Uh, this is Windex, sprayed from about 16 inches away. I have a flashlight and a mirror. Okay. Alright, now we're going to do with the paper surgical mask. Ready? See, I'm holding it behind the mask, probably where your nose would be. Nothing. This is the same thing with a paper surgical mask. See? Ooh, it's tied on. Okay. 16 inches and spray. Not a particle in sight. Okay. Cloth mask. Squirter. You ready? And I. Nothing. And it didn't run down my hands. Not a drop. Nope. And finally, the exact mask that I wear every day. Let's show it better in the light. Anyway, it's just a regular old cloth mask with ties around the head. Again. Sounds about 16 inches away. Let's see, so... What happens is the virus has to travel on respiratory particles or respiratory droplets. Um, and so as you're sneezing or coughing or even talking, um, you're, you know, as you're like going, oh my God. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's... yeah. so you're getting <laughs> respiratory particles and droplets that are carrying the virus. Um, so the cloth and any mask will stop those droplets because even though the virus particles are smaller than the mask um, holds, the droplets that it's traveling in are not. So they get stopped by the, the cloth and at least slows down the transmission, if nothing else. So wearing a mask that is now wet, it's not going to hurt you unless, of course, you have some doctors recommended not actually wear the mask. Um, my asthmatic daughter wears a mask, my asthmatic husband wears a mask. He does fine all day long. Um, and like I said, unless you have a, some medical restriction that your doctor says you shouldn't wear a mask, just wear a mask. It's really helping everybody. And you know what? If masks end up not working and they don't actually do anything to stop the transmission of coronavirus, what are you out? It, okay, it gives me some chin acne a little bit, but that's about as bad as it gets. And if it's worth not killing some people, because I selfishly decided not to wear a mask and went out and breathed and coughed and spat upon people, it's worth it. Yeah. Um, so the last thing is, I've heard that people say that you're being muzzled when you're wearing a mask. And I just wanted to say, as a veterinarian who has a lot of experiences with muzzles, I can still bite. <laughs> so I can talk, I can bite, I'm not being muzzled, I'm not being held down. Be nice to your fellow citizen. And I'm sorry, Tony, that was a pretty good fight. Yeah, it's not for you. The mask is for other people. You're doing it for others. So yeah, wear a mask, help slow down the spread. Thanks, guys. All right, have a good night.